everybody who came up to me today, and um, thank you for having us here. Um, <laughs> um, um, for us, culture is very important. Um, being part of your roots and me being raised this way, I actually don't know any other way. And I've had my fallbacks, and I've had my time to take, a, take myself out of it. And I went through a really hard time growing up um, because I was so, like, a very strict lifestyle. And I wanted to, like, you know, rebel a little bit, I guess. So I had my time to, like, go out there and, um, I guess, drink a lot and, you know, try things, try different things out. And I always came back to here. And being a part of this, there's no, like, leniency. You're not allowed to make any mistakes, you're not allowed to drink, you're not allowed to smoke, you're allowed to have to do really good and walk a certain way in your life. So to me, being here for you guys is very important because I want to show you that there's other ways to live. There's another lifestyle out there and I want to share it with you guys. This isn't a performance. This is not something that we do to show like, um, just like the dance. Or whatever. This is something that we do as a lifestyle. This is everything that we do is with prayer. Our steps are marked with the drum for a reason. Uh, it's a like heartbeat, and it has a lot to do with <clears throat> um, like basically like telling stories and our roots and where we come from. And so, to us, this is very important. And I, you know, I'm really happy that. I just got the opportunity to share this with every single one of you, and you guys are all here for a specific reason, and you're meant to be here today to see this, and I just want to say thank you very much.
We're from Adele. All my relations. I want to thank um, the Creator, first of all, for allowing us to be here, for bringing us here safely from all the places that we came from, from Los Baños, from, from Hollister, from Morgan Hill and Gilroy. Um, just wanted to say that it's nice. It's nice to be here among you. Those of you who are really struggling or fighting to combat an addiction or to, or to support somebody who is suffering from that addiction. And it's not an easy thing to do to watch your partner to be on drugs and you wonder, why doesn't he stop? Doesn't he love me enough? Doesn't he love my kids enough? Aren't we enough for him to stop? And well, the answer is no. The answer is no. The drug addiction is a powerful thing. Something that many of us who are, who don't have that addiction don't understand it. And so when we finally come to that understanding of it and know that it's, it's a disease, it's a strong disease that controls your mind and controls your body, and you have no control yourself over it. And so I just wanted to thank you for being here and for your work that you're doing, you're putting in on a daily basis. On a daily basis. My husband, who was an alcoholic and a drug user, has been clean for 30 years now. And I've been his support. And so therefore, when he said, I'm not going to do this anymore, I said, good, I won't do it either. I won't have that casual drink. I won't, I won't be around it. And when we do go out to, in public where there is, we'll drink coffee. So we become coffee-holics. <laughs> All right, so everywhere we go, it's coffee, coffee, coffee. But it's helped my family. My daughter, who spoke first, you know, she had that test struggle with that, and she probably might be struggling with that for the rest of her life. But at least she has her culture, her culture and her family to support her and to not go in that path anymore. You know, and if she does fall someday, we're going to help her. We're going to be there to help her stand up again and, you know, dust herself off and say, hey, you know, when you're ready, we're here for you. Okay? So I just wanted to thank all of you for being here and uh, for having us here, you know, because our culture, and I want to say this right now, our culture has helped us. They say in Spanish, cultura cura. That means cultural cures. And so in our culture, we're trying to cure our families and our community by bringing them in this way, bringing them this way and keeping it a safe environment for all our families who come with their children. We have many um, single moms or single dads who have, um, who have need a safe place. And so this is our safe place. And um, so just wanted to um, thank them for being here, all our dance group Iskali, which is resurgency or new beginnings. And that's what we have each day. Every day that we wake up, it's a new beginning, a new day. And so, um, like I said, I've been dancing since I was 30 years old, and we've been dancing 30 years now. So do the math. <laughs> so uh, I just want to say it's a healthy lifestyle. I don't have any any ailments that I have to take a drug for. No high blood pressure. No nothing. So I don't take any kind of medicine, any kind of drug in that in any form, except for I gotta admit Advil once in a while for my aches and pains afterwards sometimes. So uh, just wanted to thank you once again and have and wish you a blessed day, a good day, and a good life ahead of you so that you can be strong and not just for yourselves but for your family also. Omedeo.